So we have an app which is up and running. So every time we press on the button, we have a new code displaying each time. And we'd like to add some enhancements, like having a smooth fade in and out effect every time we press on the button. So we're going to start by updating the off property in the view did load by putting it back to zero. So it's going to be showing just when we press on the button. And we have these functions that are already available, ready to use for fade in and out at the bottom of this file, so view controller. And this is where we update the value of the property alpha. So when we fade in, we want the alpha property to be one and zero when we call fade out. And we're gonna first call fade out. So at the beginning of the function set quotes in order to fade out, so the quotes first, to fade out the label and then we're gonna make we're gonna call fade in in order to display the new quotes every time we press on the bottom so that's gonna be fade out first to fade out the label and then fade it again to switch to the new quote that's pretty simple we're gonna try that save and then build and run So now it's invisible. We're going to be able to see the first quote only when we press on the button. And here you go. So, and this is happening, happening concurrently. So first fade out and then fade in. So the result is pretty smooth. You have then this fading and out effect every time you press on the random quote button. And the final touch will be to update the background color every time we press on the bottom. So that's going to be the final touch in this application. And we're going to use this function, which is get random color, which is available at the bottom of the file. If you cut first, so you're not sure what's going on with the random function, if this is the first time that you're using it, we're going to see that together in the next video lesson.